Hello, and welcome to Anime Lore Unveiled, where we journey through the intricacies and nuances of the anime world. We explore, we analyze, we unveil the layers that make up this captivating universe. Today, we're diving into a rather intriguing topic, anime openings. But not just any anime opening, we're taking a magnifying glass to the evolution of openings in one of the most popular series, Black Clover. So, sit back, relax, and prepare to embark on an exciting journey as we explore the power and impact of anime openings, starting with Black Clover. Let's get started. Ever wondered how the evolution of anime openings contributes to the overall experience of the series? This question may seem trivial at first, but let's take a moment to ponder. Anime openings hold a significant place in a series. They set the mood, hint at the storyline, and evoke a plethora of emotions from the viewer. Think of it as the main course of a meal, with the opening being the appetizer. It sets up your palate, teases your taste buds, and prepares you for what's to come. The same goes for an anime opening. It's the first impression, the initial taste of what the series has to offer. Take, for instance, the Black Clover anime. Each of its opening sequences is a unique blend of animation, music, and thematic representation, all of which have evolved over time. This evolution has not only elevated the viewer experience, but also left an indelible impact on the reception of the series. So, are you ready to delve deeper? Let's dive into the evolution of Black Clover's openings and their impact on the series. Opening. Remember the first time you watched Black Clover and the thrill of its first opening? Ah, the initial elements of Black Clover's first opening. They truly set the stage. The animation quality was something to marvel at. The fluidity of the characters' movements, the attention to detail in the backgrounds, and the vibrant use of colors all combined to create a visually stunning introduction to the world of Black Clover. It was a clear indication that the creators were not only passionate, but also committed to delivering a top-notch anime experience. The music choice was equally compelling. The energetic rock theme, Haruka Mirai, by Kankaku Piero, perfectly encapsulated the spirit of the series. This high-octane track, laden with powerful guitar riffs and explosive drums, effectively mirrored the intensity and vigor of the show's protagonist, Asta. The lyrics, filled with themes of determination and resilience, echoed the narrative's emphasis on overcoming adversity and chasing dreams. And then there were the themes. The first opening was like a window into the heart of Black Clover. It introduced us to the protagonists, Asta and Yuno, highlighting their contrasting personalities and their shared dream of becoming the Wizard King. It hinted at the central conflict of the story, the divide between those with magical powers and those without. The opening also subtly foreshadowed the trials and tribulations that our heroes would face on their journey, weaving a sense of anticipation and excitement. But let's not forget the symbolism. The recurring motif of the three-leaf clover, representing faith, hope, and love, was prominently featured in the opening. This symbol, deeply intertwined with the series' lore, was a clever way of foreshadowing the importance of these virtues in the narrative. Indeed, the first opening was a potent mix of captivating visuals, electrifying music and thematic richness. It was an invitation, a call to embark on an adventure filled with magic, friendship and the relentless pursuit of dreams. Closing. The first opening was just the beginning of a captivating journey. As the series progressed, so did the quality and complexity of its openings. This statement holds true for Black Clover a series that has continued to push the envelope with each and every one of its opening sequences. Let's take a closer look at the evolution of Black Clover's openings. When we compare the first opening with the ones that followed, it's clear to see that there's been a significant improvement in animation quality. The first opening, while still impressive for its time, feels a tad simple when put side by side with the later ones. As the series progressed, we see a greater emphasis on dynamic action sequences, intricate character designs, and vibrant backgrounds. This growth in animation quality isn't just about making things look better, it's about immersing the viewer deeper into the world of Black Clover, making every opening a visual treat. Now let's talk about the music. While the first opening had a catchy, upbeat tune, the subsequent openings began exploring different music genres. We've had everything from hard-hitting rock anthems to soulful ballads, each song carefully chosen to match the tone of the season it represents. The shift in music genres not only keeps the openings fresh and exciting, 
but also allows for a wider range of emotional expression. These songs don't just get you hyped for the episode, they tell a story in and of themselves, adding another layer of depth to the Black Clover experience. But perhaps the most significant evolution in Black Clover's openings lies in the themes they represent. As the series delves deeper into its narrative, the openings follow suit. Each opening is like a mini-story, hinting at the challenges, growth and adventures our characters are about to face. For instance, look at the third opening, Black Rover. It's a tale of struggle and determination, mirroring the hardships faced by the Black Bulls. Or take the seventh opening, Just a Dice. It's a powerful portrayal of the fight against despair, echoing the series' ongoing theme of hope and perseverance. These thematic representations allow the openings to resonate with the audience on a deeper level, making each one a memorable part of the Black Clover journey. In conclusion, the evolution of Black Clover's openings is nothing short of remarkable. With each new opening, we've seen a steady improvement in animation quality, a diversification in music genres, and a deeper exploration of the series' themes. These aren't just catchy tunes and pretty visuals, they're an integral part of the Black Clover experience, enhancing our understanding and appreciation of the series. Each opening added a new layer to the Black Clover experience. How did these evolutions in openings affect the viewer's experience and perception of Black Clover? Now that's a question worth exploring. The shifts in animation quality, music selection, and thematic representation in Black Clover's openings have been monumental, and fans have been quick to respond to these changes. Each new opening is greeted with anticipation, an eagerness to see how the show will continue to elevate its game. Fan reaction videos and online discussions explode with activity following the release of each new opening, a testament to their impact. The opening's evolution has not only enhanced the viewing experience, but it has also shaped the perception of the series. The improved animation quality, for instance, has consistently wowed viewers, catching their attention and drawing them deeper into the world of Black Clover. The music too has played an integral role. With each new track, the series has found a way to set the mood for the episodes to come, stirring up a range of emotions in its audience. Moreover, the thematic representation in the openings has given viewers a deeper understanding of the series' direction. It's been like a roadmap, guiding viewers through the complex narrative arcs and character developments. This thematic consistency has helped fans form a stronger bond with the series, understanding its rhythm and feeling more connected to its narrative. The excitement that surrounds each new opening is a testament to their importance in the overall viewer experience. They're not just a prelude to the episode, they are an intrinsic part of the Black Clover experience. They set the tone, build anticipation and provide subtle hints about what's to come. The evolution of openings has undoubtedly played a pivotal role in the overall success of Black Clover. They've been instrumental in building a loyal fan base, fostering a community of viewers who eagerly await each new opening, each new episode. The evolution of openings played a significant role in shaping Black Clover's popularity. What's next for Black Clover's openings? What can we anticipate? As we trace the trajectory of Black Clover's opening sequences, we can't help but ponder the future. The evolution thus far has been nothing short of spectacular, with each new opening upping the ante in animation quality, music choice, and thematic representation. So where does Black Clover go from here? Looking at the animation, we can expect further growth and refinement. The show has always pushed boundaries in its visual storytelling, and it's likely that future openings will continue this tradition. We might see even more intricate animation techniques, perhaps even delving into the realm of three-dimensional animation or implementing cutting-edge technologies to heighten the visual dynamic. Musically, Black Clover has always been on point, and there's no reason to believe this will change. The series has a knack for pairing its openings with the perfect song, encapsulating the mood and tone of the arc to follow. As the story progresses, we may find ourselves treated to a wider range of genres and artists, each adding their unique touch to the Black Clover experience. Thematically, we can anticipate that future openings will continue to mirror the narrative's evolution. As the characters grow and the plot thickens, the openings will reflect these developments, offering viewers a tantalizing glimpse into what's to come. The symbiosis between the series and its openings is a dance we've come to relish, and it's a dance that's far from over. So, 
while we may not know the specifics, we can confidently predict that the future of Black Clover's openings will be as vibrant, as thrilling and as innovative as ever. And as we eagerly await what's to come, we can find comfort in one unchanging truth. Whatever the future holds, one thing is certain. Black Clover's openings will continue to be a major part of its appeal and success. Before we wrap up, we have a little request to make. If you've enjoyed our journey through the evolution of Black Clover's openings, and you're as excited as we are about what the future holds, why not join us for more? Here at Anime Lore Unveiled, we delve into the rich tapestry of your favorite anime series, exploring the nuances, the symbolism, and the sheer artistry that makes them so compelling. We're constantly unearthing new insights and perspectives, and we'd love for you to be part of our growing community. So if you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button. Not only will you be supporting us in our mission to bring you the best in anime lore, but you'll also be the first to know when we drop new content. Whether it's a deep dive into the intricacies of another Black Clover opening, a detailed analysis of a different anime series, or an exploration of anime culture as a whole, we've got you covered. So don't miss out. Subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled, and let's continue to unravel the magic of anime together. Stay tuned, folks, because we've got a lot more in store for you.